good morning guys today got up uh, early to come over here to check out a pretty cool temple it's a small site but it's a cool location we're gonna take a look at what Safan Hin which means the rock bridge and what it is is it's a bridge that goes up the side of the hill it's a walking path not really a bridge anyway it's a stone walking path that goes up there and there will be a cool little like 12 meter tall standing buddha and a few like ruins of an old temple that's up here so uh, let's go see what we see today So this was my chariot to get over here. Now this is in the western zone. It's a little bit of a haul to get out of the historical park. It's like three and a half kilometers or so. And it's just surrounded by some fields and it's up against this hillside over here. And there's probably half a dozen or so small temples that are kind of built along this ridge line. But this is the best one. Now this goes up, it's about a 300 meter climb up this uh, kind of dilapidated walkway, and then we'll be rewarded with a nice little uh, standing Buddha image up at the top. Just to give you an idea, here's a map. This is the historical park. So you come out this way over here and you enter the western zone. And there's all of these small little temples and stuff that are right here along the hill. And then there's this little group of temples over here also. But they're all just like really small and there's not a whole lot to see at them unless you just want to look at a little bit of the like the ruined chetties and stuff like that so let's get up this uh, little hill here and online they say it's a hundred baht to get in here now but there's nobody manning the little ticket booth so let's climb up this this is a, a little bit of a hike it's not handicap accessible at all and if you have a little bit of issues with uh, like bad knees and stuff like that then you'll probably skip this but it's all right. I kind of like working up a little bit of a sweat. It's pretty cool this morning. And what I wanted to do, and I made my plan to get over here and see the sunrise. And of course, uh, as the old saying go, man, man plans and God laughs. <laughs> I didn't make it over here for the sunrise. And I uh, just ran into probably, there was probably 40 ties or so that were coming down that they came over here to uh, like uh, greet the sun. A little way up the hill, there's a base of a chetty there, and then another little Sukhothai style chetty. And you can see that they used the stones here, and they still did quarry a little bit of the laterite and brought them in. But the Sukhothai style, you see it just kind of that long and sleek, and it's quite a nice. I really like the Sukhothai chetty style. And as you can see, that's our destination up there. Now, the Sukhothai Chronicles talk about this temple. They don't know really when it was built, but it was at least used during the reign of King Ramkamhang. They said he rode his elephant over here and the elephants were all named, like especially the important elephants, but they, uh, he rode his elephant over here every Buddhist Sabbath to, uh, to pray. So let's go up the rest of this here. Okay, so here we are up at the top. So they built a little building right here, and you can see kind of the way back down. Two other people were up here. Now, these are the laterite stones that they hauled up here. So it have taken quite a bit of work just to get them up here. And then they have another level here with the old wee hen. And then they terraced off the rest of the hilltop up here also. So there would have been like a little wall the normal stuff and then there's quite a few bases of little chetties here not much to see now just the the brick base these were probably added later on in the probably IUTI era when they added these because the brick wasn't used as much by the Sukhothai but the IUTI kingdom loved the use of brick so here is the wee hand and you can see they did use these huge laterite stones here for the support columns. And this was a pretty decent sized hall considering the location. And of course the highlight is 
the standing Buddha. So that's 12 meters tall. And you see the eyes are downcast and closed. And it has the little ridges above the eyes and the hair rolls. It's a Sukhothai style image. And the Sukhothai loved these standing Buddha images. And you can see it's a small one, little one here. And this here looks kind of like a Hindu, the base of one of the Shiva lingas. So this little wall behind the Buddha image is just massive. Look how thick that is. A lot of these Sukhothai temples, they'll have these little moon drops that'll have four images. They'll have a standing and a seated and a walking and a reclining image. But this one here, they just had the one, probably due to the space. And so they had some more images and stuff back here. And then that's all. You would have uh, been able to come up here and enjoy the view, see the sunrise. The sunrise, the it's right on the, uh, the Buddha's face and kind of makes it glow a little bit. So this is a very popular place for the sunrise. And I'm not sure what the purpose of this right here was, but it's right here next to one of the chedi chedis. It just holds water now and a breeding place for the mosquitoes. And then you can see off into the jungle and stuff. So it looks like they have, I think these are tamarind trees here so they can come and pick the fruit off of them. I really don't like the tamarind, but the ties like it. Let's enjoy the view for a sec and then uh, we'll go back down the mountain. That is the valley there of Sukhothai. You can see it's just farms and then there's temple ruins and stuff all scattered out amongst. It's quite a nice little view. It's green, it's kind of rainy season so everything has gotten a nice drink and greened up. But very nice, worth a little bit of a hike up here. I don't know if it's worth the 100 baht if you have to pay because the whole park itself is 100 baht. So this is, and like I said, this is just the one that you really want to see. The others are just okay if you want to go out and kind of explore some of the small sites. But this is the highlight of the western zone to me. Okay guys, that will finish up a pretty fast little video over here in Sukhothai at this uh, temple, Wat Safan Hin. It's nice, it's kind of fun for me to climb up here and uh, see this little temple. It's uh, not for everybody. I, I like uh, getting out and kind of exploring out through the, the jungles and stuff like this. You can ride your bike over here to it. It's a little bit far, but it's not too bad. I mean, three, three and a half kilometers or so. And then you can see the rest of this Western zone if you uh, have already seen the central part and all of those others. There's five zones. There's the central and then the four cardinal directions all have zones and have temple ruins. There's probably a hundred or so scattered out throughout this region here. So uh, you can get out and explore. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and stick around and then you're notified when I post a new video. And if you've been here or have any questions, ask me in a comment down below. And until next time, from over here at this UNESCO World Heritage Site over here in Sukhothai, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.